Fashion, turn to the left. Fashion, turn to the right. Welcome everyone to Just the Tips, a web series with two best friends trying out all the most pointless tips on the internet. Katie, do you think you can't wear your favorite strapless dress during the day? No, I, I can. It's way too fancy for work, and it's so cold outside. Guess again. The uh, post is titled, The Easy Way to Make Your Favorite Fancy Dress Work for Day. To quote Christina Perez, the author, um, think you can't wear your strapless dress during the day? Guess again. It's kind of aggressive. Huh? Think you can't wear your yeah. favorite strapless dress during the day? Uh, uh, are, you are you talking with me? Guess again! I didn't even offer. I didn't even guess yet. Yes? God, leave me alone. I don't have any cash. Go away. According to Christina at the fashion show, spring fashion, the whatever fashion shows just happened. Sure. All of the fancy people were wearing um, just a regular old sweatshirt underneath a fancy strapless dress. They are, one, a couture designer. Two, a fashion consultant, which is a mysterious career that I don't understand. Three, a casting agent. Also, I like in that like they're all just hanging out at like a deserted basketball court. But much respect. She's bringing her lunch to work. Is that a Tupperware or a very high-end, high-concept fashion purse? It does look sort of like an old walk disc man, walk man. I hope for her sake that there's food inside. We aren't the first ones to notice what great advice this is. One woman said, quote, I wouldn't be caught dead wearing any of these. I'd rather go in sweats. I'll stay home before I go out dressed like that. My favorite, Shopping Girl 26, um, hit the nail on the head when she said, um, quote, this may be terrifically glamorous in some places, but personally, I think it looks like a cry for help. Shop Girl 26, if you're out there, um, I, think we can, I think we can flip the script on this one. There's a general unease with very conceptual um, practice very often yeah. in mm-hmm. art, in fashion, uh, even in new scientific theories. This is our chance to cling to the precipice of the curve. I wouldn't say we're ahead of it. Just, yeah, just barely hanging on there. Are you going to push it to the edge, the razor's edge, and put a sweatshirt Underneath a really fancy dress, a true high low combination as abdicated by glamour.com fashion blog. It's funny, the issue here for me isn't the sweatshirt, it's the dress. I don't I don't own I don't own a much evening wear. Am I alone here? Wow. I mean, I often feel like a sausage, but now I look like one too. This is the the proverbial 20 pound sausage in a 10 pound casing. Most dresses are already, they are already tight on the bosom mm-hmm. and adding a layer of sweatshirt makes it like the tension right here. Like you can't even, like if I press really hard, I still can't get down to my body, like to my core. And the armpits are, are slicing into my side body, as we'd say in yoga. (laughs) This is funny too. There's a whole sweatshirt right here. Right here. Oh gosh, from far away I sort of look like a kidney bean. This dress already, you know, it's body conscious. Let's just put it that way. Mm -hmm. But then I, I throw a sweatshirt on underneath and it just filled out my entire torso in the midsection, but also like my back. And then my friend. Like, what the wrestlers do, you know? When they're like, I'm going to do my sweatsuit, but then put the garbage bags on over it. That's what I feel like. I'm getting like a like a total, like a very Sigourney Weaver look. It's very Sig's Weaves. I mean, mostly you just look like a butthole for being like, for like going there and doing what you needed to do to look good. And then taking one step back from that by putting a sweatshirt on and, and shoving it in underneath your dress. This dress is 
actually quite cute, and thank you for reminding me, terrible sweatshirt, how cute this blue dress was without the sweatshirt underneath. Congratulations, you've done yourself a huge disservice. Uh, ow, it's hurting. <laughs>